stuffed pockets from banker envelopes and pleasantly plush printables inspired by a journal cover made by Debbie at Kip's Corner. Hello, this is Patricia, the P, and I am Mariah, the M. Together, Together we, we are PM, PM Artist, Artist Studio. Studio. Show us your support by liking and commenting below. We really do appreciate it. So now, let's get started. All right, stuffed pockets. Stuffed pockets. It Seems is. to be my thing lately. Our thing. I know. It's my I'm, thing. That's I'm, your thing. That... I'm going to gel print. What gel plate print? <laughs> I'm making her do this late at night. <laughs> We've yeah. already done one. Um, she used lips. it all. She used it all up. <laughs> my lips are not properly. If you want to go see that video? I'll put a link below. It's better. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so hilarious. Not meaning that the project... Oh, we've got some plush plaid going on there. I'll look at her using plush plaid. Yes, yeah. we do. We certainly do. Like, and that shiny knows. gold, I just... I, I'm gonna... It, it will be a sad day. Those envelopes are discontinued. Yes, that's why we and, have and them. Here, they were, like, really they, Well, cheap. they sat around. And I kid you not, they sat around for over a year. Almost. I, I don't even remember it so long. Of course, ever so many things. Because we a lot were of things I don't remember well, because we were making cards, and I bought them, and I used them for one card. It's just they're oh, they're sort of giant. Yes, it, for the card making, but for sending happy mail to other awesome journal people like Debbie over at Kip's Corner, because mm. she will be the recipient of this here. In fact, she may have already gotten it by now. Very possible. It's very possible. She just hasn't let me know. I'm not sending it overseas. I'm no. Slow boat. <laughs> anyway, so we are using the banker's envelope again. I wanted to do it a little bit differently than the other one, but as I said, I am going to link the other video to to this one. Um, so that way, if you want to see that there are multiple ways to use the banker's envelope. Look yeah. at that little flip down. I know, and is look, it, it's, it... it's pre-glued if you really wanted to, you know. <laughs> oh, you could lick it and stick it. <laughs> you can lick it and stick it. I did not lick it. Ah. I, I glued over it. <laughs> well, it's kind of limiting the options. That's not true. Wait to see what happens here. Okay. And hey, by the way, did you see that lovely little petal pocket over there? I did. I, I was involved that is, in the petal pocket That's right. Making. That is the one you folded. Is it really? It's the one that, yeah, we did that during I the video. That I took a little, little mm -hmm. and made it into kind of a accordion yeah. band. Huh. So I sent that along to Debbie. All right. Well, you're welcome, Debbie. I didn't realize that. <laughs> and there are that that piece right there are some of um, or is a piece from some of P's purple jelly printing. God, all these P's. I know. Well, I, don't, I and you, I, I'm really not a purple person. No, unless I, it's mixed I, with yellow and then it turns brown, I, um, <laughs> which is her favorite color. <laughs> yes. Variations of brown. Yes. But it worked really well here. And, and that's the stencil, the little um, thatched, I think is what I named it. But it, it's kind of like, you know, thatched or woven. Oh, yes. Look, yes, yes, yes. And see, there's more of those petal pockets being used. And it, I mean, they were just about perfect. And what I decided there was I was going to leave open that little slot for one of our awesome washers. Oh, yeah. Which we still have not, we, we need to jump back onto that project and figure out how to make them into a process that doesn't require, you know, multiple days and some words and things. <laughs> We're getting over the, <laughs> yes, the last batch. <laughs> There's gotta be a better way. And, and I think part of that may be getting a different machine. So that has been in the talks as well. But I'm very excited about that because I, I want to blow this thing, cricket up every. Well, time it's I use just it. it's you know it's a little crafty machine and we need a heavier duty <laughs> situation. I really love a glowforge. I hate glowforge if you're listening. I want people to try out your products. <laughs> We'd be willing. So this is some of the awesome um, archival. 
tissue paper. Yes. And Which I'm I, telling I you, highly yes, recommend it. We both do. If, if, you, if you use it, you will never go back to that other stuff. It I just, just it's, um, it's not the same thing. <laughs> it's it, it, so wonderful. Hey, and that was my mix of purple that I started out with. And then these are our new Lindy's. And that's L-I-N-D-Y apostrophe S. We say that because, it, seriously, we called it Lindsay's forever. Oh, and me eating a little bit of a crackle. Mm -hmm. You know, one needs to snack well. While crafting. <laughs> Absolutely. While drinking, being arty. Drinking is sometimes good, too. Yes. So, anyway, I had sprayed the pink and the purple that we just received. I am very happy with those Lindy sprays. I, I just love them. The price is right. They, they work don't beautifully. Clog up. Yeah, we have not had any clogging issues, even with the metallic shimmery ones. And those are usually the ones. Yes. Uh, those Ranger ones we have, I cannot say the same about. No. And their colors are just so powsy wowsy. Just doesn't fit a lot of our projects that we we do anymore. But anyway, I was trying to work in some textile stuff because so Debbie's cover that I was feeling very inspired by. I think she's gonna do a giveaway. So I'll link to her information below as well in the description box. And um, she's gonna be doing that that journal as a go giveaway. So I don't know if she's gonna include this with her giveaway journal or not, but that's what inspired us and prompted us to reach out to her and say, would you like one of our little stuffed pockets? Anyway, where was I going with that? I'm yeah, rambling. The, the textiles to trying to bring in more of yes, the, her, her because, color combination well and because her whole cover is sewn and slow stitched and it's beautiful it is it's quite we've exquisite. watched it a couple of times i have and i'm usually not a big fan of those but i i, I was just marveling at number one her craftsmanship yes her ability to embroider yeah this. i and i really did want to use some of that yarny stuff because it did go well i just you know, I'm sure that there was some other yarn yeah. in there that was way closer to the colors, the smoky. Probably. Yeah. I ended up <laughs> that one piece that I got from good old, uh, good old Peg at Two Crows. I think I used some more of it too. I'll be very sad when I'm running when I run out of that. I need to go through your stash. You said you had some that was similar. I've got some smoky. Yeah. Yes, it's it's more in the mauvey. That's fine. The, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I need. And dirt, I'm very dirt, much dirty purple. Yeah, I'm very much enjoying our purple papers. I haven't done a full-on journal or anything, or book, or whatever we it, it is that we do. We, we, we're somewhere in between an art journal, junk journal, commonplace book, and, you know, just... I just make art. Yeah, she makes the art. I make it into something. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Powers. Now I I do have I've I've done what three journals? Yes, but I usually help with that. Yes, I, I, I am the assembler. If it requires measurement, <laughs> not even wrote and that. tape. <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> P is not in charge of the finding tape. <laughs> Some days I shouldn't be either. <laughs> I see people using it and it just looks so easy yeah. and everything, and I. I I inevitably end up sticking it down and having to start oh, over. Oh, hey, and this is some of P's uh, gel plate prints. And we used this on a little project. I put that link below, too, but we made little books for Christmas out of the <laughs> many, many Christmas card things that we have left over. And they're very heavy duty. But the purple goes really well <laughs> with our purple set of papers. So I've been incorporating even just leaving bits and pieces, pieces showing, showing yeah. because it has a kind of canvas texture to it, which is pretty cool. So again, if you want some happy mail, you got to comment below. I'll reach out to you. I promise. I will send you some things. And that, that was one of those things. Now, this didn't come with the set. This is just something that I laid out. But again, you want it, let me know. Um, I will send it on to you either via digitally or if you want me to print oh, you out one, I can send it. that Christmas card. Yeah. I did want to kind of, because the paper I was going to be putting over it does show through a little bit. So I wanted to make sure that it was softened up. Wasn't quite so. Right. 
delineated. Yes, that was the word I was thinking of. Delineated. <laughs> Happens. So it just so happened that how I cut it in the middle of the page and where I had that little bit of flower cluster, that it ended up like that. Happy accidents. Happy Did not plan yeah. that. Hey, if you do watercolor, you understand happy accidents. Yeah. There are unhappy ones also. <laughs> I was over in the Seth After Facebook group, and, and they were asking something along the lines of, um, what do you do with mistakes? And I, I just repeat them so it looks like you wanted it that way. And I just said, Are we at the end? No, we're just saying that, hey, are you feeling inspired? Oh, well, <laughs> usually that is the, the end. No, I'm telling you, I need to put her to bed, y'all too late <laughs> I, I need to just do mindless tv watching at <laughs> this time of night yes so as i was saying similar situation with i needed to cover up the stuff on the tag i think i did a pretty clever thing with this one now this what where was it now anyway i've been making so many tags lately and I, I try different things each time. I, I know some of it seems a bit same, same and repetitive, but I needed the background. Oh, I did. See, look, the little flippy. Mm-hmm. So it hangs down there. And this is the one that you did the sewing on. Oh, yeah. Well, I told you to leave it open. It was really hard for me to sew it after you. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I'm just going to leave it open anyway. So I made that part of, like, you know, how it was going to be. Yeah, and I'm a little intimidated about my sewing text compared to that which was done on the cover. So On Debbie's cover. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not even in the same ballpark. But. Yeah, there's a little piece of that, because um, I had already done the garden version, the, mm -hmm. the tea in the garden. So I had that little bit of leafy green. And, and I, again, I think that really speaks to how interchangeable our sets of papers are. Like, we have something that's going to fit any color combination. You know, it might be one set or between the, you know, between all of them. Yes, so if it, you were to have some of them. Yeah, you can fit, you can work them in. And the other thing is, is you can use a transparent uh, <laughs> acrylic and just gel plate over the top of them. Be any color you want them yeah, to be. Yeah, Pete, Pete loves it. Like, when I have misprints or if our... Epson's acting up a little bit and have to clean the printer heads. I, I don't worry about those pages so much because, you know, they leave I, little I lines. I it, save them and they'll be used. Yeah, and just <laughs> P comes back and <laughs> jump lights over them. Sometimes I have to use opaque, though. See, and this was the back side of that Christmas card. Mm -hmm. That's one and, that I, I printed on the other day. That particular. Oh, that that. It was one of, one of the one, the not so good ones. Well, I was talking about the, the card there. Oh. So my little tag, I left the actual card showing. That that's mm -hmm. the back side yeah. of the. You know who says Christmas has to be green and red. Well, that's what we thought when we made the card. Yeah. I still feel that way. I do too. <clears throat> we have a lot of stuff. Certainly not a traditional Sunday sense of the word. <laughs> I've started including when I send them to people that they'll probably be seeing that one for a while. <laughs> <laughs> See, I patched it up right there. So we were a little bit worried because again, this paper's pretty thin. This is the um, Strathmore 25% ivory, I believe it is called, paper. And it is a bit thin. So when P did the embroidery on it, we wanted to make sure that it was gonna, you know, stay in place and not pull mm -hmm. and lose the little stitch. So I put a little patchy thing on the back. Now these little tags come with the Pleasantly Purple Plush set, I believe. And um, I have been gluing them together because there's two of them and then make like a little baggie. Hmm, yeah. Now they don't match up perfectly, so you gotta do some creative cutting, but come on now. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I'm becoming, like, I'm getting to the point where, like, I have muscle memory on 
trimming out these <laughs> flower clusters. <laughs> I, I've done it so many times now, both big and small. A lot of times they end up on the front of the envelope. Yes. As they're being sent. I, I've kind of stopped doing that because it's, <laughs> it's kind of time consuming. And then I'm like, well, I don't know if they're saving their envelope. So I've actually just been putting it in with the stuffed goodiness on the inside yeah that's much that's probably better anyway and i and i'm worried that they're gonna get all messed up in the mail yeah because well, we... we saw that one how it came back and, oh yeah okay so ooh, okay ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. well p said i think you need to do something else with the flowers because so we had the brown at the bottom and it with wasn't the tag. it wasn't repeated anywhere else right so once again busting out with those fine tech metallic watercolors and that bronzy browny color along with then I'm telling you sort I, of coppery no it's so crazy and I can't remember what the name of it was but I had a Chanel eyeshadow that I swear to you was that kind of metallic -y green so I came back with it oh and, that iridescent yeah the stuff. iridescent oh yeah I do I love that stuff so that is what I used to embellish accent mm -hmm. embellish well what did you do just flick it on there well I flicked it on the lower tag but then I can't I did the flowers is what I'm saying paint it oh. over and you know lit up the flowers this is me thinking <laughs> good to know what I'm doing. just want, you, want everybody to know that's what mm -hmm. I'm doing <laughs> thinking trimming more flowers <laughs> I do love the flower clusters I'm waiting for the literally waiting for paint to dry <laughs> well thank you but you just bust out your hair dryer. no I don't I don't have room for that thing I, I there are times when I feel like I need it now I did include I put it I glued it down there because this well is, but you can still this cut is that inside out. If you wanted to. Well, I'm hoping that she uses the whole stuffed pocket thing. Well, she needs kind of a substantial page in order to... Uh, it's a kind of heavy duty. It is kind of heavy duty. Or maybe she just keeps it. I don't know. Well, it could go on the back of a cover. I hope you know, Debbie back comes, comes back and cover. comment below, Debbie. <laughs> Let's Absolutely. know what you're doing with that stuffed pocket. And then I just uh, put the little washer in the tuck pocket there. You see that up front I right that there? Was just yeah. brilliant. I'm surprised you didn't put a little fluffy stuff on it. Just for well, I almost did. Did you see? I was playing around with the thread. Oh. Uh, yeah. Thought about that. Then I created just a little double-sided folded tag thing. Because I think that's light enough. And so if you were journaling, I don't know. Our stuff is never really meant for journaling. It's more like ooh and awing. <laughs> Tote it out and look at it. <laughs> Which, hey, we do. That's what we do with our journal. Make our friends and family look at it. <laughs> we chuckle because it's true. It is. and I, I, My brother's the worst. He is. He's so horrible. He's not nice, although I did make him a very nice purple bookmark. And I, he was very appreciative. I think he was. So, I thought that was a cool... That's good how you trimmed around nice. that little leaf. I like yeah. that. Kind of more organic. Again, I just... I don't have anything against straight edges, but I sure do love a well, you wavy could, there's torn. There's still places on that that you could actually journal right if you want. Oh yeah, to. that's what I'm and saying. The, and the and paper's the paper, light enough. The paper it is not slick or anything. It hasn't been coated with anything, so it would accept all different kinds of yeah, you know, I think pen, so. pencil. And so see, here's the other of the pockets because this comes with the purple set one of them the little pocket thing that I'm you know punching out right now I was so happy to find that circle punch to be able to do well, that's that that's the only Makes, one that's still alive I know, that still works P's kind of hard on them oh I just forget you know they're <laughs> kind of delicate and they, you know, she really I'm needs more industrial to, I need industrial strength circle <laughs> punch because I'm punching some heavy duty stuff we style. are <laughs> Her poor crocodile was out of the commission there for a while. It, it kind of self-corrected. I, I don't. I wish I could say I did something to it, but I think with just working it out, it, it's kind of pushed back in place. 
so <laughs> man, I was having so many, so many, so many issues with my decorative scissors that I love so much, but I think they're just getting kind of worn out. I tried to use them the other day, and every time I opened them up, they, they like ripped a... You were the one, you broke my purple I, scissors. I, I didn't break them. They were not working when I got them. Mm -hmm. I, I just, you know, I, I, I have, I, I love what those things do, but I have such a hard time using them. Because I can't, I, once you make a cut, you're, you're like, okay, how do I get back in there? Because it just wants to keep eating that same edge. I get that, hey, and it, it looks is a like skill. the dog I'm telling you, it, it is a skill. Like, you have to really... And you have to be committed to what you're doing. After all that work, and then you just cut that, whack that off? Off of the top. Oh. So it still has roughly sides? Yes. Oh. Now, those are roughly things sometimes don't fit very well inside of stuff. They get hung See up. See it? Look at that. Boom. Boom yeah. shakalaka. There we go. And I'm going to work on it some more. Because <laughs> <laughs> it chewed you, it up it? wide enough. No, it bothered me that one was kind of rounded and one had a little clipped edge. So I was trying to match them up a bit more. And I, th I think I got her done. Well. I tried the scissors that I cut that out, by the way. I had to glue them back together. You're not allowed to have... I, 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 I hate them anyway. There's that lovely Whoops. little... Yeah, it didn't fit, so I had to do a little trimmy rippy, tear. Rippy, rippy. Mm -hmm. But look how cute that looks. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, wow, hmm, there we go. That's what I need. Now, the only thing I think was missing from this whole bunch of stuff here is I wanted some black and white. Yeah. With the... the um, because I she has a couple of... Or three or four places on her journal where she's used to really black and white yeah black and white and i think red was in maybe mm -mm. it was kind of a maybe a some kind of a flower stuffed on it someplace but i really i really wanted mariah to do and, and y'all i folded that fan we talked down. about that did we already mm -hmm. talk about that i didn't know if we were, you were, if we were live yeah we discussed a lot of stuff before we got started here, and I don't, I'm having a bit of a moment. We're, we're coming sort of I really, around to the, the end, so, you know. <laughs> really, yeah, you know, you're supposed to... I don't know if I showed it to you. In. You didn't on this one. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm probably just going to keep on talking. And, That's all right. Know, yeah, okay. What did you want to say? I wanted to make a plaid black and white paper using that same plaid the pattern. Right, the grayscale one. Yes. You've seen it in purple there somewhere. I don't yeah. know. So it was pretty yeah. prevalent at the earlier part of and, this and video. This is, this is leftover. So the reason I do those strips, and this is actually available in the, the kit, in the in the set of papers, because you can do, well, all sorts of things. They're great for making little tags, but the reason I did them in strips like that is you can fold them over and do them and glue them down to an edge so you have little decorative edges on maybe some journaling cards. And you can almost use them like washi tape too. Yeah. Boom shakalaka. Well, that's a really nice piece of paper. I know. There. Where'd that come from? From, oh my gosh, she asked me this every... <laughs> See that bag right there? <laughs> oh. That's the purple bag. We're digging out of the purple bag. Mm-hmm. And she has handed all that over to me, and she's still I'm yet... I'm still thinking that some of that was not authorized. I, I don't know. Yeah. I feel that way. I, I'm i feeling... You're feeling that way. I keep telling you that it's... And I'm sending along some of this stuff because I'm kind of getting oh, towards the end of using purple papers for a little bit. Even though I really have... I, I mean, they... They're quite versatile the purple papers. They go with a lot of things. One of our little Aww, lemons. Lemon. That was from the clown project. Mm -hmm. Juggling lemons is a sourful endeavor. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> I'll comment below on that. Okay. Yes, about lemons. Um, I tried to cut a circle, but uh, it didn't. 
just happen. Just kept getting littler. Yeah, and then so I used the punch, and I was just going to throw that. That was one of our little test runs of the texture paste on top of those mirrored, or oh. mirror, holographic, I don't know if it's really mirrored, but holographic. Yes, it so I don't know if it really went with everything here, but I thought it was fun. <laughs> it goes with the lemon. It goes with the lemon. You know, it's a little little weird, a little fun. Unexpected. That's right. Whimsical. Yes. Might not work in this one, but you never know. Yeah, it's a stuffed pocket. And then another stuffed pocket inside of another pocket. Wow. Yeah. It just keeps on giving. I didn't make it. I was going to make an envelope for this one. You were. No, I didn't. Mm -mm. Apologize. You've really been on your. She's testing out the texture pastes, the modeling pastes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a good one this coming Saturday. So if you're watching this back, then highly recommend finding you that. Put if you the want. other piece in there because they could have used that as a closure. Well, I thought about it, but then I was like, I don't know. Is it weird? We already had. The, oh, here we are at the end. Yeah. And I have, I, I put this thing together like three times. I was going to say, you're going to drag all that stuff out again. Yep, again. Oh, dear Lord. And then I did it again because I took the photographs of it as well. Was it getting a little rough along the edge? No, it held up wear, quite nice. Wear and held, tear. It held up quite nicely. Well, you know, PM Artist Studio, know. we make things to be handled. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you did a nice job on the edge with that horrible scissor. Affair. Thank you. I love that yellow lemon with those purple pieces. I Right? That was just brilliant. Thanks. There's like my that. stitchery. And a little bit of the spatter. and See the little mm -hmm. patch on the back? Yeah. All the little quotes I included had something to do with sewing or purple. Threw in the purple one. Sewing stuff. or purple. Yeah. Little note from us. Those are original that's, stamps. That's one of my... Yeah. The washi. Mm-hmm. I didn't pull that out because I was like, it took forever to get to sit there. <laughs> well, if you started with hey, that, it was a fat booger. If you like the video, please let us know by clicking, commenting, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, ring the bell. Ding, ding. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.